Pet Pals TV, and now we've got the gang all together. And Stacy Goins is with us. Stacy is with Invisible Fence, and your title is Stacy. I am the Community Outreach Specialist. Very good. Invisible Fence. Now we've had you on. People may recognize recognize you. You were on before talking mm -hmm. about pet oxygen masks for mm -hmm. the fire department in Indiana. Several fire departments. Yes. Then I got an email from Detroit Fire Department saying mm -hmm. they've just gotten some pet masks mm -hmm. from Invisible Fence. You're all over the country. We are. We absolutely are. Yep. How many places? Oh my gosh. Um, across the border. California, wow. North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, all the way to Canada. Okay. So So if you're watching Pet Pals TV, uh, it could be anywhere in the country. Invisible Fence, you're probably in that city. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Pet masks. This is an ongoing project. Tell us, tell us the mission. What, what you're doing? Um, our mission is just to equip the local fire departments um, in case they were to go into a home. There was a pet in there that needed to be, you know, to receive oxygen. Right. So um, we just make sure that they all have those masks on hand. Um, and that they can, we give them a little training when we wow. do the donation. Um, CPR is something, you know, we speak about. And um, we just kind of show them how each mask uh, will fit each dog. Okay, how many masks have you given? So f when did you start giving out these masks? Oh, it's been years and years. Yes, it's um, been several years. Mm -hmm. How Approximately how many do you uh, think you've given? 7,500 kits, uh, 22,000 individual masks. 22,000? Mm -hmm. Yep. Talk about giving back. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> I mean, Invisible Fence, this is a corporation. Of course, you do you do your product as well to help keep pets safe. But then to give back like this, is, is I think it's just amazing. So uh, how can you show us different masks for different pets? His mm -hmm. nose and muzzle is a lot different from hers, size-wise. Yep. What you got? Well, uh, we have this one right here. This one would be Stewie size, okay, for the uh, large mask. And then... I would say this little guy right here, <laughs> probably from Miss Mabel. Uh, she so goes, I don't know. She's what like, you, I don't think yeah. so. Let me, let me see this so. one too. Now, also, so of course, obviously, they're wide awake and, and interested, but I can't put that on his nose right now. He won't let me. But these are animals that are incapacitated, so mm -hmm. you can put it on. You can also take, take the top off there or the uh -huh. rubber part. What does that do? Um, this right here is for our flat nose friends, like your bulldogs, your pugs, the, the ones with the shorter snouts. So okay. this just rests nice I got and it. flat on their face. And it could also be used, because there's a lot of kitty people out there, and I got cats mm -hmm. too. This can be used for cats as well. Absolutely. I have two cats of my own, and I sleep well at night knowing that there are masks out there that can help bring can them help back case, if they need to. Yeah. It's also good, and this is just a little aside, put something on your door or your apartment that says there's mm -hmm. pets inside. Uh, it's always a good thing to do mm -hmm. in case in case the worst would happen and there'd be a fire. Uh, you're going to continue with your mission as well? Yep. I have uh, two donations this coming Saturday for McCordsville and Fortville. So when you see Stacy, you know she's on the job, on the road, <laughs> on a mission to give pet masks out to um, the fire departments from Invisible Fence. They've been, actually Invisible Fence, was, they were one of our first sponsors here on Pet Pals TV, so it's been a wonderful yay. journey. Yeah. <laughs> yay, yay. yay! All right, uh, thank you, Stacy. You're so welcome. You're wonderful. You're All welcome. right, we'll be back with more on Pet Pals TV.